Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. So, Leo, the, these two cards came out. We're going to start with money. Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups. What you don't see is that it might be hardship right now, um, but that is ending. You know, happiness or the stage being set for you to have complete happiness is here within your financial sector, within your money. You had to change the game or change the game plan or the plan here or plan differently or accordingly. Um, you, plans needed revision. Um, you, you have to understand that you don't have to be coupled with somebody to see financial stability or to have it. The Seven of Swords um, talks about maybe going it alone, being the lone wolf, um, keeping to yourself also, keeping your head down, um, minding your business, not telling everybody what's going on with you. Um, the Ten of Cups talks about um, a fortunate time after a difficult period. It also talks about maybe somebody coming to you, a loved one, with an opportunity to start a business. You know, um, it says, or um, this could be your loved one that you're in a relationship with. Um, it says, yes, you could start the business with the person, but look over the details, the contracts, make sure it makes sense for you, okay? Uh, let's see what else is going on in money for Leo. Uh, two, of Pence, two, no, two of Cups. So definitely partnership coming up. Partnership coming up where you felt like somebody wanted to do it by themselves maybe now somebody wants to partner they want to come to you with this business idea they want to come to you with this partnership um, of how it'll work how it can work um, if we pull together you know um, we already have chemistry in terms of just our personalities this can work this is what someone is saying to you Something that you do, you need to be married to. So you need to do it every single day, says the two. Um, it talks about every day. It talks about values and priorities. It talks about material. Um, so something about if you want to have material success, if you want to have gains, if you want to um, maybe even find stability, you have to do something every single day. It talks about earned income also. So whatever it is you do, you need to do it every single day. You need to do it, you know, um, inside and out, over and over again. Um, that's how you earn your income, or that's how you, I heard you earn your keep. What is going on here? Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Definitely somebody wanting to partner with you now, or be your partner in business, or be your partner in crime. Um, Ace of Swords. So they'll come to you. They want you to make some irrevocable change in regards to them, in regards to going in business with them, in, to, in regards to trusting them. You know, the three of pentacles, they feel like you guys will work well together. This will work out well. Um, we can pull our money. Um, three of pentacles. Let's talk about paperwork, legalities. Maybe somebody wants to put something on paper also, or you may be asking that it be on paper so that it could be final, definite, so that it could be real or made real. You're gonna see the truth of the matter when you have a conversation with somebody. It may be conflict before you actually get to some resolve, to you actually get to a place where you can accept this, or you can say yes, or you can move forward. Um, because you thought that somebody was out for themselves or they didn't care, or you're wondering why the change now, why the transition? Somebody could be wanting to partner with you because they see stability with you and that you're a hard worker. Or someone seeing the work that you're putting out and that you're doing or the money that you're making, or this is what you're doing. Let's see what's going on in love for you. What's happening in love for Leo? This could even be a family member, close friends, or family members wanting to be in your circle now. Let's see. The Fool card, the Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. No, Page of Pentacles, sorry, and the Death card. So some relationship is transitioning now. You know, it's gonna, a dynamic change, Leo. Somebody is really changed now. 
um, really wanting something to be more stable or just different. So if it was that we were distant or I don't want to get married or I don't want to be with you or something of that nature, somebody's changing their tune. Why all the change? Somebody could have got left or left behind. Um, somebody wants to be with you now. They've had some ending of a relationship. Yeah, four of swords. It was the ending of a connection. It came out of nowhere for them. The relationship was already rocky, unstable. There was suspicion of infidelity. And now this person is trying to come to you and be in a relationship with you and make it work with you and you, you, you. This person may have rejected you in the past. Now they're seeing you as the one, but they don't know where it's going because they, see, they feel like you're closed down or you're closed off to this with the Queen of Cups or your heart chakra, you know, you closed off to this. You have Five of Cups. Now this person is wanting the relationship back or they want it to recover it. Um, they want to do the work or, you know, they've cried a river. I heard over somebody else. Yeah, Four of Cups. I knew they rejected you. They didn't see the blessing that you were or you are, and now they want you back. Yep. They want to make amends. They want to compromise. Um, they know that they need to make some big changes in their life. They need to choose right with the temperance card. They need to temper their decisions, their choices. They were too extravagant with their choices in the past, and it led them to... Before they get to destruction or before they make the wrong choice, it's like they want they want to choose you now because somebody's coming back to them, whether they know it or not. But they want to have you. I don't know if they're going to try to use you to make someone jealous. Let's see what the advice is for you, Leo. Somebody just didn't choose wisely. They may be getting rejected. You may say, no, I don't want to deal with this or I don't want this I don't want it like you do um, you may find a job that um, it allows you to um, do some good work or quality work or you may have been in a job where there was a lot of paper paper pushing you know it was on a red tape or legalities or you could be in the legal field yeah this is going to be unlikely that you guys get back together and make it work because you don't want it. Within the next few weeks, you could receive an offer. This person could receive an offer for somebody that they were crying over, but they want to have you in their corner. Yup, can't make this shit up. At the bottom of the deck, they want forgiveness. They may be coming after you for the wrong reasons though. You may be having a front row seat to somebody getting their karma. What they did to you is now being done to them. Therefore, they want to come back and get forgiveness. You can't forgive, but I don't think you're going to take back. It is uh, extremely unlikely. This is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I do a collective reading. I answer your questions. Um, go over to the website. Book your own reading. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40OFF at the website level. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you.